welcome to the series premiere of Jarred. Are you guys excited? Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm scared, well. but it's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the biggest glass of wine in the world right now sitting next to me. I've already finished my Bro, tea, I my I'm apple sad. juice, it's chill. Well, apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> on today's episode, we're going to have a little chat. About some serious stuff, you guys are in trouble, so I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, we're gonna let the listeners please drop on a little bit of banter, and then everyone needs to stick around for a very special segment called Red Lesbians React. So, how was everyone's day? Ugh. Exhausting. I'm, I'm glad it's over, but it's been alright, it's been nice and chilled, so I'm, I'm good. Vex, do you nice. start. You start your hockey stuff today, or is this the first thing that you're doing uh, for the hockey today? Yeah, so today it's just like a hockey conditioning camp. So basically, I just like get back into hockey, get back into everything, like kind of go over the basics. And it's my first year playing with the girls, and not boys. So it's gonna be very interesting. Are you scared you're gonna rough them up? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very scared. <laughs> well. Not a lot of people in the community know that you're like big into hockey. I'm like, yeah, you always, you always have been pretty much. So, like, I think I'm just gonna ask something that pretty much everyone would want to know after hearing this. Are you missing any teeth? No, I'm not. I haven't missed <laughs> one tooth from hockey. No, <laughs> have you ever been are... the cause of someone losing teeth? No! I mean, almost, <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah. I was not yeah. expecting that. I just, I feel like, I feel like true, like, hardened hockey players are, like, missing a couple of teeth. They have summer teeth. Some are here, some are there. Well, I mean, <laughs> a lot of the hockey players that are missing their teeth are normally hockey players that don't wear mouth guards, and that's normally recommended by, like, the NHL Association and, like, many other associations, so they most likely should be, but some just, like, don't care about their teeth. Well, that's good, though. Like, I like you with, like, all your teeth, so... <laughs> <laughs> and, um... So, Ryan, how did the stuff go at work today? If you want to give some backstory, that'd be cool as well. So, uh, if yeah, you so. Want to. Yeah, well, as obviously you guys know, yesterday when I was closing up my shop and everything, I had discovered that I was lo missing quite a huge chunk of money from my till. Um, how much? At least. <laughs> uh, well, it first started off to 136 pounds that I was missing. Yeah. That is a lot. Yeah. I was so panic and confusion set in a little bit. And then started to cash everything up and count what I had actually got. And then halfway through counting it, somehow me and both my colleagues somehow managed to lose a hundred pounds. <laughs> oh my god. So next thing you know, we were down it's your luck, buddy. Next thing you know, we were down two hundred and thirty six pounds. I was freaking out, like really bad. So I just said to him, look, bank what we can have right now, and I said, I'll figure the rest out tomorrow when I've got a clear head. I get in this morning, I check all my figures, I check over my cameras, and the money that I'd actually gone missing from yesterday, I was actually scammed out of from some very clever and crafty, sleight of handed customers. I was. Nice. Uh, yeah. How many customers, like plural? Well, yeah, well, it was one paying customer, but there was four of them, if that makes sense. Like, it was a family oh. of four. One, oh. of them, one of them come in to try on a suit, which I was very sceptical over because I said to him, look, as polite as I can sound, this isn't going to fit you. Um, they were determined and he got in it and he bought it. I was like, okay, you know, you proved me wrong. You get in it. So he, we started to put the transaction through. Next thing you know, like the mum of the group just goes and grabs a, another random suit and brings it over oh. and I'm like okay fair enough you want this one so do you not want to try it on and they says oh no it's not for us it's for a friend I'm like okay are you confident hmm. in the size and they're like um yeah I think so so I was a bit like okay fair enough she hands me 200 pounds 
then he, the dad, adds me, hands me 300. So that's 500 right there, and then she gives me the extra 20, which is what's needed for the transaction. As I'm counting it all out, he starts to pick the piles up to clarify that there's 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on and so on. As he's handing me the whole total, and I'm taking it from him, he grabs a bunch from the bottom, and sleight of hand puts it straight in his pocket as I'm putting the rest in the till. And that's oh. all she wrote. So, it like... Wasn't. I mean, you guys keep transaction records, right? Like, you do you yeah. have their names? I don't have their names. Because they have paid by cash, it's not logged in the system. If they paid by card, I'd have the whole thing. It would all be there for me. But um, for cash transactions, nothing. Gone without a trace. Wow. So, well, what? you know what we do over here when people do that? They get Facebook shamed. They get some CCTV <laughs> footage, and they put that shit on Facebook, and they're like, hey, look at these grimy-ass motherfuckers. And then Facebook is I like, was... I know who that is! That's so-and-so, and then they'll tag someone. <laughs> oh, boy. See, I was actually, I, I picked up the phone straight away. I got onto the shopping center security. I was like, I need security down here. I need to report some scam artists. And they got into the phone. I was like, whoa, interesting morning for you then already. And I'm like, well, you clearly have no excitement during your day, do you? <laughs> so, yeah, straight so okay. <laughs> so, you guys just got robbed, like, a month ago. Yeah. And then you get fucked over yeah. again. Yeah. 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 Do you have like the world's laxest mm -hmm. security there? Sorry, what was that? So do you have like the world's laxest security at your job, <laughs> or? Because <What> <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm about to come visit you guys, and I'm gonna knock over your fucking <laughs> shop too. It's that easy. <laughs> It seems, to be, it seems to be piss easy, let's face it. You know, yeah, a month ago there was a brick thrown through the front door. A month later I'm losing cash in hand, but they're there and there. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm fairly certain that that was Sam and Luke because that was like oh, Mr. Big and Mr. Short. Like, it looks like it could have been Sam and Luke. Like, they just throw a fucking brick through the door and the little man just I mean, crawls through the, the hole. Footage. You saw how flimsy one of them was. You know that had to be Luke. They look like the fucking. Beans. They were like the burglars. They remind me of the burglars from like Home Alone. Like they were just like. <laughs> oh my gosh! Imagine. Oh my god! I should next yeah. time, next next month, I know to booby trap the place. Then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just put like that would actually be traps, hilarious. Just like a bear trap. <laughs> Guys, we gotta we gotta escape. That's not even a booby trap, Meg. That's a, <laughs> an animal trap. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you should booby trap the place. Vex is all Canadian. Like, yo, it's a bear, <laughs> bear trap, trap down, you guys. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking Why more not? like I was thinking more like micro machine, a Hot Wheel car, or something by the front door. And yeah, Vex that's what I was trap. thinking. And then Vex just like comes out like, yeah, let's get a fucking bear trap on these bitches. Let's just like make them need an amputation or something. <laughs> or like you could do like that warm like uh, door handle thing that they did in Home Alone. Oh my god. <laughs> now she's trying to tone it down a little bit. She's like, "Or oh, yeah, you speed up the doorknob a little bit." Just... Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it's nothing bad, you know. Just burn your burn your palm a little. <laughs> At least you won't need to get it amputated, though. I mean, you I may mean... need to get a layer of skin, like a little, but you know, well, it's fine. I just took it literally, like you said, warm. So I was just thinking of like a lukewarm yeah. door handle. Like, oh, that door handle's kind of warm. Like, not like scorching oh. hot. <laughs> That's different. I wonder, do they have heated door handles here? <laughs> All the bougie shit that's out now, I would not be surprised. It would surprise me, no. Imagine. Hey mom, it... I, I want a heated door handle for Christmas. You know? Okay, but let's oh, not right, act like. Luke wouldn't request something like that. I was birthday. just about to because say, we've just recently discovered he has heated, heated toilet floor. paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> toilet paper. I was gonna say floor Doesn't tiles, Luke have heated yeah. floors in his bathroom? <laughs> yeah, heated floors, yeah. Hey, heated floors are actually really nice in a bathroom. That's that white people rich, bro. Like... <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. I mean, I have, no. I, I have heated floor in my bedroom, but only to the extent that it's like the 
heating pipes going into my bedroom floor. That's it. It's not like excessive heating. So it it's not meant going. to be a heated floor. No, it's just, just a, it's just a perk of having the, the heating building. pipes going down. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how it's built. <laughs> That's it. Well, um, well, now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, <laughs> uh, let's just move on to our question of the day and uh, kind of open up the table for some discussion. So each episode, I'm going to pose like a little question, like a prompt, and um, let you know the group think on it, and hopefully we'll get some pretty funny answers. Um, some of them I thought of myself, but some of them I had to Google, so it's like, whatever, bro. <laughs> but, so for today, the thinker is going to be, if you could make a rule for one day, 24 hours, any rule in the world, and everyone had to follow it, what would it be? Oh my god. Like, everybody is in every single person on the planet? Yeah, like, yeah. Like a like, no, I don't even know if you would call that a cult because it'd be like literally everyone. It'd literally in the everybody. World. It wouldn't be a cult. It'd be like a law for twenty four hours. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, a global law. Oh my god. It's a bit of that's, a thinker, huh? Yeah, that's definitely literally a thinker. I already know mine. Okay, well you start well, us off then. I just came yeah. up with mine. It's gonna be. It's gonna sound really stupid, especially when we're thinking in terms of like literally whatever you could do whatsoever but my thing um especially after recent experience would be that no children under the age of 12 are allowed inside of any commercial building but all dogs oh are gosh, yes. oh my gosh that, that is would... actually like the greatest thing ever no it's so annoying because like okay saturday me and my family went downtown for a baseball game and um yeah, we just recently got a baseball team, and the city voted in favor of naming them the Woodpeckers, but that's a different story for a different day. <laughs> but yeah, okay. like, we went to this restaurant in downtown, and it's, like, one of those more, like, upscale, like, Italian restaurants, and, like, we're sitting there just, like, you know, having some conversation, waiting for our food, whatever, having some drinks, and then there's this fucking bitch in the corner with, like, a newborn and it's screaming, and I'm like... You're really killing my vibe right now, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm over Just here pretending to be. <laughs> I'm over here pretending to be high class, and then your baby is like five feet away screaming. Like, just, um, this is just ridiculous. And then I'm, just... I'm like, man, this baby is screaming a lot. I sure wish my dogs could be in here with me, like just <laughs> to so like well. ease the anxiety. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah, boy. yeah. No children allowed in places at all, but all dogs are allowed in all places all the all time. All dogs allowed, but no kids. <laughs> just, yeah. yeah, no, that's just his rule, that, just, a, just a big dog dookie on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> now that's high class. <laughs> Better yeah. than babies crying. I'd rather deal with dog shit than a crying baby. Yeah, I mean, you just, like, pick it up, throw it in the trash, and you're like, the baby or the dog okay. shit? <laughs> <laughs> you could do the baby. <laughs> Probably what only wants. You though. could just yeah, I, just I throw think, it into the dumpster. It's fine. I mean, I don't know if it's illegal, Vex, but I think it's definitely frowned upon. <laughs> to throw the baby in the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the dog shit? <laughs> the baby. <laughs> oh, 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 I mean, I don't frown upon it. Vex but... is like, oh damn. <laughs> oh, there was always something there, bro. Oh, I wish I could do that to my babies. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, okay. Moving on from my fabulous idea, which will one day be the rule whenever I am the leader of the free world. What do you guys think? <laughs> you can <laughs> Ryan can't even stop laughing long enough to think about it. <laughs> Come on, I, I, mean, I can go if you, if you don't have an idea. Please do carry on because I'm, no, I'm still you have recovering. One, please. I'm still recovering. <laughs> okay. So, um, for that question, I was thinking like the rule would have to be like you have to um, kind of like show appreciation to those who you care for and who care for you, and just be like, "Hey, you're pretty cool." Yep. That's so like. <laughs> so like. 
<laughs> no, that's a very that's very wholesome, especially coming from you. But so like, <laughs> well, if you treat him like shit, like go die. <laughs> so like a legally, like a legally mandated Valentine's Day, except. 300, well, it wouldn't be 365 days a year, it would be just one day, so you would just have an extra Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So is, are we commo- okay are we that. <laughs> that really wasn't the answer I was expecting, honestly, but it's yeah, fine, because it was really fucking cute. <laughs> I mean, I was aiming for it to be more towards, like, family and friends, and, like, maybe Vex? a partner, but, like, who cares? Vex just want to fucking, Vex just want to love everyone, bro, she just want to go and be like... Hey, Instagram, you're awesome. I just have this- yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I- it, Like, toxic stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I said Coming that. Coming after you, I'm gonna punt you to the ground. No. I just have I this- just don't edit that out, bro. I'm, so, I'm, not, I'm leaving that- I'm fucking leaving that in. I don't even care. I just- I have this envision as well of- You know, you guys have seen Spider-Man 2, right? Or is it 3? Nope. I don't know. Toby? Spider-Man, or- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Toby Spider-Man. Do you mean- yeah. In the scene no. where he's walking down the street and he's like giving the finger guns to everybody, I'm just having Vex's head. That was Spider Man 3. Is that 3? Oh, man. I was, the one I was with emo? One emo Toby? Yeah, that yeah. was 3. Oh. Emo Toby, yeah. Just walking down the street, clicking the finger guns to everybody. <laughs> That's Vex in Appreciation Day right there. Pizza time. Yeah, it's like, mm, kiss you, BB. <laughs> but I do, okay, I do have a question <laughs> oh, about your law. I do have a question about your law. Okay, so like, okay. is that just like towards people that you already like pre cared about, or do you have to be like affectionate towards like everybody, like even people you don't like? Well, <clears throat> it's more towards those who you already appreciate and you like don't really show appreciation to as much as you probably should. Oh, like, Jesus! No. Oh, well, me and you don't have that problem, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we show affection 24-7, day and night. Yeah, kiss me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do that here. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, should I go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so I want no children in places. Vex wants everyone to just fucking get along, you guys, just for fucking once. Can we have an entire day of world peace without fucking Or just nukes fucking kill each other. And, like... oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, now you've ruined so, like... my one, Vex. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ryan so wants to purge. So yours basically was the opposite of me. Kind, Not mine. <laughs> kind you heard of. it here first, Ryan wants a purge. Uh, pretty much, <laughs> but we have a purge once a year to kill off all the people. It's fine. But, but all but, the people. But it's all, only that all I the know. Americans must die. <laughs> yeah. Oh my oh god! My. <laughs> all the Americans—that's half of the population, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> I mean, Canadians. So, Canadians can rule the world. It's fine. If the Canadians ruled the world, everybody would just have their feet up. Which, to be fair, it sounds like a world I want to be in. Anyway. Yeah. So my one is kind of going off effects, but in the other direction, but not to the degree what? you guys are thinking. Not to the degree you guys are thinking. Okay. So, for the job that I have, because I work in customer service, I have to be polite and appreciate those who I deal with every single day, every single day. Mm-hmm. I know where you're so, going with this. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> so, on the same day that Vex's law is introduced. It's the same day that I'm introducing mine. So customers oh. customers have to be nice to me, but I don't have to be nice to them. Actually, does this, okay. Is this like does this end at verbal or are you talking about like you can punch them in the face if you want to? <laughs> okay, I no- maybe if it's a child under the age of twelve. Um those can get punched especially. Dang. When you're <laughs> I mean, why not just punch them in the face? They're twelve. It's fine. They don't care. I'm a Fortnite bro. <laughs> I'm a Fortnite. Let's drunk. do some default bands. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are the, I mean? Is, are there limitations or like? I wouldn't go as far as abusing some, like physically abusing somebody, because <laughs> well, let's say, so I'm I'm not the person to be doing that, but. <laughs> 
No, you got slapped I... by a hobo, but we're going to talk about that on a different episode. Oh my god, let's, <laughs> let's let that one die, please. Stay oh tuned, god. you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got beat up by a hobo. Anyway, um... <laughs> String bean alert! Yeah, no, I wouldn't, do, like... <laughs> with the way some of the customers speak to me on a day-to-day basis, I just want to be able to speak to them in that sense, and they would just watch them have to endure it and have to be overly polite back to me, just for the one day, just so I get the satisfaction. And everybody else working in customer service gets that satisfaction as well. Yeah. To the degree that I can, like, get so frustrated that I start yelling at them and this, that, and the other, and then can just walk away from them when I've just had enough. Even though I'm the only one that's actually serving them. But yeah, that would be my one for the day, I think. Well, can I, I mean, just say... I think that's fair. Yeah, it is, but you sounded very Irish in that last few... For those last few words. <laughs> <You> said... <laughs> I don't even... <laughs> the way you said enough just then, you sounded like an Irishman. Anyway, oh, when I listen so, to this back, um... I will have to check that out and just enhance that a little bit. <laughs> so what? <laughs> you know, whatever the fuck you said. Anyway. You know... Um, <laughs> Sorry, I said so, I was an Irish. I, was, I had a question <laughs> about your law, but I can't remember what it was now. So anyway, in short, I hate children. <laughs> Vex wants Vex, everyone to be nice feel. to each other. And Ryan just wants to be mean to his customers. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, I know what my question was. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Okay. So, okay. So you can be as mean as you want. Mm-hmm. To anyone, mm. do they have to continue being nice to you after you punch them in the face? Do they have to yes. be like, "Oh, thank you, chap"? <laughs> <laughs> I like the British twist on that as well. <laughs> oh bloody hell, that hurt! <laughs> Thanks, though. Oh, my monocle that was a little fell more off. Australian. <laughs> <laughs> my monocle. <laughs> How art I mean, thou? <laughs> I was gonna do like a British like impersonation but i almost did a scottish one i was like hold on i i should probably not do that dude you know it's weird i used to do british so good until i started hanging out with dougie and abdi and now it's just like a cluster <laughs> yeah. it's like every time i try to do a british accent it just turns up australian and i get so mad yeah it's like crikey and they're like <laughs> what that's not even british yeah. i'm like i mean free the kangaroos I mean, you know, little known fact about me, I practice my accents in the shower. <laughs> I mean... Like, and I'm like, disappointed okay. every time I get out. God so. damn it, I can't do it! <laughs> Ma! So, wait, okay, so, like, going back to the purge, like, I have I have a different, like, a different idea, but, like, since we mentioned the purge, mm-hmm. have you guys, you guys have seen at least one of those movies, right? Yeah. Both. Yeah, I've watched. I watched all. It's two or is it three now? I think it's two. Three. Have you ever? <laughs> well, three. I mean, I mean, I feel like everyone who has watched those has thought about a what they would do in a purge, and b how long they would actually live during a purge based on the <laughs> shit you've done to other people. Do you think okay, that you've I, ever done anything to I other people straight off the bat. <laughs> that would make you an assassination target during a purge? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't, like, get targeted. I mean, I, I'm kind of chill. Like, I don't... I mean, maybe the ones I messaged through, like, Dead by Daylight, but, like, you know, let's... <laughs> we don't talk about but, that. But, like, I'm so, like... I'm so, like, petty. Like, I'd be like, yeah, I'm gonna go kill that motherfucker that called me fat in the eighth grade. And then I'm like, oh my god, what if, like, someone else has the same line of thought as me? And they're like, oh my god, she called me a bitch back in, like, sixth grade. I'm gonna go kill her. Like, let's go just kill just, each other. I mean, I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure my ex would probably love to kill me if there was a purge. Damn! Honestly. But, like, okay, let, I'll race him to it, honestly. But anyway... Yeah, yeah, I just thought about that when we were talking about the purge. Um, well, his, my purge would go one of two ways. The first one, which is probably what's going to happen most likely, is I would board my house up, but I'd still die in the first <laughs> half an hour. That's how I would go. <laughs> because I'd have to board myself up because of the amount of people I have pissed off in my lifetime, and they'd all come for me in one go. So I'd be gone in half an hour. Or Yeah, that hobo would is, be beating down your front door. Oh, they would, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're it's like, I'm, where's your money? I'm pretty sure they're living in my village now. They've followed me home after work. <laughs> but, okay, like, also, like, 
why does purge like why does everyone go straight to murder when they think about the purge like i saw this thing well, like i mean it was like a, a tweet or something someone's like um I don't know why everyone talks about murdering people during the purge. I'd be going out and robbing fucking expensive ass stores. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, why? Well, yeah, because it is. Somebody. It's just it's it's law. It's lawless for the traffic. But I think what it is is because when they do the purge announcements, it's like all crime, <laughs> including murder. They just they emphasis mm. on the murder. I think that's what it is. And speaking about this, the street light just outside the front of my house has just gone off. So oh. I'm not freaking. Is there someone out front, like waving a knife at you? From the I, street? Don't, I don't. Don't want to be friends. I don't want to. <laughs> it's Vex. She just wants everyone to be it's nice friends. to each other. <laughs> yeah, dude. Be nice to everyone. Put a knife up or to your neck else. if you're not fucking nice. <laughs> She's there with a machete and a sandwich board, saying, "Let's be friends." <laughs> She's like, no, the knife is for the charcuterie board that I brought, you guys. Why are you so upset? It's for the cheese I'm gonna cut up, bro. <laughs> bro, why are you cutting cheese, bro? I was gonna say, why are you giving me Dude, I fucking love cheese. <laughs> Dude, just slap him in the forehead with the cheese block. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have cheese. Okay, well... <clears throat> well, um... So we'll just move on. Um, <laughs> so... Now that that's okay, so we want to hurt and murder people. Um, so <laughs> <laughs> just feel really except for Vex, who wants to be nice to everybody. Um, <laughs> this next I mean, segment. Partially. This next segment is just called "Red Lesbians React." Um, oh boy, here we go. So recently, I pro I posted the prompt on my story on Instagram, asking my followers what their favorite viral videos or shock videos from the early two thousands were. Um, so Red Lesbians React will be a segment we do every other week based on the videos that were suggested to us. Um, all of us here will simultaneously watch the videos together, um, and react to them. The more shock value that's involved, the better, honestly, because I want to get some, like, I'd love to have some really funny reactions to some of this stuff. Um, Excuse me. But we'll go ahead and get started. So our first suggestion comes in from Instagram user... Don Lorenzo Bianchi. Um, <laughs> I, I would read off his at, but there's a lot of underscores, bro. Anyway, Don Lorenzo, if you're listening, bro, this one's for you. So he suggested. Yeah, kiss you on the mouth. <laughs> yeah we're going to kiss you on the mouth for this. Or, I mean, I might punch you in the mouth, depending on what it is. <laughs> but Don Lorenzo suggested a video called Eel Soup. Um, so let's. Uh, I've sent this to both of you guys so we should all have it so i'm gonna go ahead and open this okay, there's like a I... brief description on the website all i see is live eels and ass i don't want to read the rest of it because i don't want to spoil it for myself but i'm a little scared. yeah okay the adverts i'm greeted with here is telling me kind of already what i'm getting myself into here so yeah uh... we'll go to that site that i sent you guys click play on the video and then just pause it whenever the video opens up and we'll all start it simultaneously do I have to watch this in full screen? I am, because I'm blind. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm about to say. <laughs> okay, I've I've got it. Oh, what the fuck is it? All I see is like a bowl of eels and like a yeah, and like a lady's legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Those, are you ready? What are those? Okay, what are those nails like? <laughs> they, one hand is perfect. It's like fine, looking the other... over the bowl. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like it's meant who is for this the bowl. Beyonce chick. <laughs> it's like that Coming nail was you. made specifically to for the bowl. The top of that bowl. Just to hold the bowl. <laughs> That's her yes. job. Like, just holding <laughs> bowls of eels. This Tupperware sucks, bro. <gasps> <laughs> oh god. Are we playing Ryan, this? Ryan, are you ready? I've got it here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. One. Two, let's go! Oh, that, no. oh, that's, oh, this was quickly. Ew! Oh. Oh, that looks my like God. leeches. My feet those came off the floor. Yeah, those are eels. You can tell by their tails. Are they child eels? <gasps> Wait, what? What is what that? <gasps> what? Where are they? What? What is that? What the hell? What is that? <laughs> what is, what is happening? Here? Is that a funnel going at? <gasps> 
Why is she enjoying that? What? Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, I'm just sitting here in like panicked silence. What the? Why is she moaning? You have the sound on? Why have you got the sound on? Okay, my question is... We need full effects, what? stupid. Like, my question is... <clears throat> Why? What would that feel like? Because like... <laughs> go inside like it's not like I... she has a prostate what are they tickling that's making yeah. her moan like that and this other bitch with the bowl is like looking like she's mixing some like fucking scientific Which like bullshit. experiment she's like yes yes just like get into her ass that That's eel was just like, I don't want to go! I don't want to go in there! I don't want to go in there! Look, he'd just <gasps> rather die than go in look at him dude, just shove it in your mouth for... oh, okay. oh great, that's the last what? one gone alright um. Oh no, there's one that more. That makes me so nauseous. Like I, 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 I Why are they even blurring out the doesn't... hole at this point? It's Japanese. They have to. <laughs> <laughs> they it's have not to. even her butthole, though. It's Shady. like the bowl hole. I mean, oh my god. Her eyebrows are snatched, though. Her eyebrows? Yeah, that's what you're looking eyebrows. at? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, oh my, my god. god! Why is she licking her ass? Oh no, don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do what you're gonna do. Oh, oh my no. god, I'm gonna. Oh, <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a fucking torpedo! That <laughs> fucker came out with a missile! Dude, oh my dude, god! It's a Stromberg! What the fuck? Why oh are they like smiling? This isn't a thing. Oh, that's Did not... they at least count the eels before they in like put them in, please? Did it look me? like they were counting them? Is this look like, cruel to animals? It has to be. But <laughs> like this must... how would you know that you got them all out unless you counted them? I'm sure you'd feel it. Well you'd have to. Oh what Okay. Please tell me it's over. Okay, it's over. It's, it's over. Oh my god. God. What um, the? I have many questions about this. Please. I don't, I don't even know where to start. I think. I. Okay. I, I just feel very, like, confused because. Like, where do you get that many eels from? Like, do you just go to, like, a pond and just, like, take them out and just be like, hey, you're going in a butthole, by the way. <laughs> like, okay. So like, oh, what are you what are you making tonight? You don't wanna know. I <laughs> like imagine that I hate that I chose this one for an episode where we're like down half the cast. I feel like if everyone was here, they would thoroughly enjoy that. <laughs> I mean Yeah, I mean obviously like I'd be like It's you know, weird. I didn't know what it was until we literally sat down to record today, but like now I've watched it, I'm like, damn. I wish the I'm rest of the guys had seen that. I don't feel like I should have been one of the only ones to have seen that. <laughs> I feel like I should never have seen that. I, I gotta, like, clear my search history now. <laughs> I, like... I'm so disgusted, I don't even really have any appropriate or inappropriate commentary. I... I'm just, like... <clears throat> I'm just on why you would want to do that in the first place. I... And she was moaning! Yeah. Why? I, 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 yep. That's that's <laughs> that's a few more of those, and you'll catch up to where I am. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm just at the point where I'm so confused that I just don't <laughs> care. <laughs> like just... I have so many questions for these two. People. I'm so discouraged. What year was that from? I don't even want to go back and look. Okay, I'm I'm going to venture back, but I ain't watching the damn thing. Yeah. I just want to uh, say one thing. And no, okay. this, I don't I don't think this counts as a shout out cuz you know, <clears throat> we're not really, you know, this isn't going to be like a shout out podcast, but yeah. Don Lorenzo, you are a sick 
Fuck. <laughs> Why you be watching this stuff, bro? Why you be watching this in your bed? You're just like, mm. like chill. No. I. Okay, I can't see what year this was from. Um. If but you search it I w it just Google like yeah. ill soup year or something. Like yeah, I. True. You know what? If if you're listening and you have not watched this video. Do not watch this video. I've seen some fucked up shit in my time. Like, I was like a teenager in the 2000s, so like, I was around for most of the viral shock videos. I didn't see that one. <laughs> no, I didn't. I watched I've never the seen fucking. That one. <laughs> I watched what was that? The um, the BME Pain Olympics. I've watched that on a big screen and laughed my ass off. Like a dude literally cut his own testicle out of his nut sack. <laughs> but that was fucking disgusting. What? What was that? Which one? What one were you just on about? The BME Pain Olympics. Did you ever watch that? No. Okay, you suggested one guy, one screwdriver. How did you see that, but you didn't see the BME Pain Olympics? I Those go, know. like, hand in hand. <laughs> I think, I'm pretty sure I watched the BME Pain Olympics the same night as I watched one guy, one screwdriver. It was, oh, hang on. like, shockvids.com. Oh, you watched this? Here, you should watch this next. <laughs> like, YouTube suggested for shock videos. Oh, there's actually the BME Pain Olympics link to Eel Soup. Link to, they're linked together. Okay. Nice. Um, I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna watch, watch that, that on my spare time? Like, what the fuck? Uh, yeah, I, I'm... You know, I toyed with the idea of adding the BME Pain Olympics into our Red Lesbians React segment, but... I don't know if I could take it. I mean, it's it's a lot of dudes doing stuff that, to their balls and their dicks and stuff, but, like... I'm just not as tolerant as I used to be. Like, I watched... I watched Zombieland again recently. And I went and saw that in the theaters when it came out, like, in 2009 or something, and... I don't know. I watched it this time around. I was like, "This is fucking gross." Like I was like actually squirming. I had completely forgotten about how like it is actually really like, gory, gory isn't it? it was, huh? It is actually really gory when you think about it. That film. Yeah, but it didn't dawn on me at the time because I mean back then that's when I was watching the fucking Pain Olympics and like one guy one screwdriver <laughs> and one guy one jar. <laughs> like back then it didn't seem so bad, but oh, like I'm God, so I just, far removed from these I just shock clenched. videos. It's just, uh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. You just mentioned that title. I'm so. I'm so just... glad Walmart fucked up my grocery order today <laughs> because I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat dinner anyway. <laughs> Let's let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about that. Let's let's hear let's hear your day because I don't think we ever covered that. No, we didn't. Should should I talk about it? Do it. I mean, I gotta leave soon. But I might turn red. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. So like, <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah. Like I'm like all set up for today. Like I was like, I don't know. I was like seventy percent stoked, like thirty percent nervous, but like. Even that 30% still seemed like it was the 70%. Like, it just felt, like, overwhelming. So I was just trying to get, like, all my shit done. Like, I like having stuff done ahead of time because when I have stuff planned and organized about something I'm nervous about, it makes me less nervous because I know at least everything's put together, you know? Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> I had to get my groceries today. And I decided to get my run in early so I wouldn't have to do it after work. Because that would have made me take him longer to get here. Yeah. Which, in retrospect, now I'm glad that I didn't do that. I didn't, because I normally work out after work, but whatever. <clears throat> so I had, like, everything going. Like, I've got this, like, you know, I did my run early. I've got this nice little binder with, like, laminated pages of our segments. Like, I'm all ready to fucking go. Like, just had to come home and put my stuff in the spare room for a quiet space. But, yeah, I ordered my groceries. Pickup was between five and six. I don't know. You guys, do you have a do you have a Walmart? Do like do you have WalMarts at all over there or no? <clears throat> we have Walmart. Whoa, WalMarts here in Canada, <laughs> but and we do have like the um, Colin like you pick up and stuff. But I've never used it because I'm just like whatever. We have Asda. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't have. <laughs> okay, well, Walmart here, like, within, I guess, like, the last year or so, they introduced the pickup service, which is basically, like, you order your shit online, you go to a designated spot, like, out 
to the side of the building, like some little like designated parking lot for pickup. And you get there. If you have the grocery app, you can check in on the app. You say, my car is this color. I'm in this space, and I'm here. And, like, they'll bring your shit out. Um, there's also a number that you can call if you don't have the app. But anyway, I digress. So I ordered my pickup for between 5 and 6. And I got off work at 5. Got there, like, 5.30. And my app, oh, my God, I swear to God, my fucking cell service always goes to total shit when I'm parked outside their pickup zone. Like... I can't text anyone, I can't get on Facebook, I can't Instagram, I can't do anything. So if I have to wait for a little bit, it's like hell. Because like I can't do anything on my phone while yeah. I pass the time. So, <clears throat> I got there... <laughs> I got there at 5.32. Then I realized that I couldn't use my app because I didn't have cell service. So I called the number and I was like, hey, it's me, you bitch. I'm here to pick up my shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want my chicken nuggets. And, like, <laughs> and oh, let me see, let me just say they texted me at four forty five, like an hour before this, and they were like, Oh, your groceries are ready for pickup. Just let us know when you're on your way. So I'm like, Okay, cool. So I get there at five thirty two, I call the number, I'm like, I'm here. They're like, Okay, we'll be right out with your order. And like, I don't order very much. Like it's just me that I'm ordering for because I eat healthy. Charles doesn't eat healthy. So I only buy groceries for myself for the week. So there's not that much. Like, honestly, I spent, like, I spent $50 a week on my groceries. It's just me. That's nothing. <clears throat> but I pull up, and, like, there's, like, five minivans there. And then, like, oh a slew God. of, like, other regular cars. And I'm just, like... Mom, I'm gonna be late for soccer! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> so, it's like, okay, we're gonna bring your order out. And I'm, like, okay, that's cool. So I sit there, and I sit there, and I sit there. I'm like checking the time and like texting Bex and like <laughs> just getting angrier by the second because I'm watching these fucking Walmart dudes roll these giant grocery carts out to these minivans <laughs> for these moms who don't feel like going inside the fucking store and stocking up for the next year. So like they're <laughs> buying groceries for the year. I'm buying groceries for one person for the week and they get their shit first and just because they don't want to go inside and i'm just like oh my fucking god so like i really didn't think i was gonna have to wait as long as i did but it got to be a few minutes before six so it was like almost a full half hour that i had been waiting for my groceries all like fifty dollars worth of my groceries <laughs> like yeah. that's it oh my god <laughs> it's like eight items <laughs> like whatever oh my god. So, like, i waited and like i texted bex and i'm like you know I'm leaving here at 6 o'clock with or without my shit because I had to be here in time to start recording at 6.30 and like I've been busting everyone's asses about being here and being on time and I wasn't gonna be the fucking hypocrite who's like, oh yeah, sorry, I'm like an hour late because my girlfriend. It's like, so the fuck? It got to be, <laughs> so it got to be like 6 o'clock and I really, it was one of those things where it's like you say you're gonna do something but then like. I don't know, the thing ha the thing that you want to happen happens before, you know, you say you're going to, like, abandon mm. the process or whatever. That didn't happen. Like, it got to be, like, 6 o'clock, and I was like, I'm really leaving. Like, I'm not fucking with this anymore. Yeah. So, like, I called them. They didn't answer the fucking phone, so I left a very heated oh voicemail. <laughs> and then I saw one of the... Back. I'd love to hear that voicemail. Like, one of the guys, like, came outside to deliver more fucking groceries to another minivan. Oh my god. And I'm like, uh, hello. And he's like, hey, what's good? How can I help you? And I'm like, I need to reschedule my order because I've been here for a half an hour and you guys still haven't brought me my fucking groceries and I have to be at work in 30 minutes. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> I, I, work. <laughs> It so is yeah, work. that's the story of how <laughs> I ordered my weekly groceries and abandoned them at Walmart for a later pickup and basically now why I'm starving for dinner tonight. Oh Some popcorn. my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's my daily diet. Okay. Well, pretty healthy. Thanks. Um, you have to, you have to head off soon, right? In about probably four or three minutes. I'll go ahead and I'll go ahead and close it up, and then we can just okay. do whatever. 
Yeah, um, I'll so... send it to you, Ryan. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drop okay, it. so... At our listeners, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. And special thanks to the Red Lesbians who were able to join us for this episode, which will be whoop, whoop. me and Ryan and Bex. Yeah. Uh, we hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to tune in next week for more and the introduction of a new segment specifically designed with Ryan in mind. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You, no, oh. No, you got it. You okay? I'm just gonna backspace here and say that you have to edit that out. I'm gonna have to do a retake on this because I forgot okay. you're not gonna be there for the next recording. Um, I had already written this episode whenever I remembered. Okay. So. Um, I'm okay, yeah. Cut, retake, okay. So, thank you for joining us today, and a special thanks to the red lesbians who were able to join us for this episode, which is me, and Ryan, and Bex. Yeah. We hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to tune in next week for more fun and the introduction of a segment specifically designed with Bex in mind. Yay! Um, if you haven't already, be sure to check out each of our Instagram pages for the most recent Rockstar Games content. Mm. And don't forget, Ryan's Sunday Funday compilations go up every Sunday, and yeah. my Wacky Wednesday compilations go up every Wednesday on both YouTube and Instagram. If you have trouble locating our YouTubes for whatever reason, our YouTube links are in our bios on Instagram. Yep. So, thank you for listening, and have a fantastic week! Love you Thank guys. Thank you very much, everybody.